there was a question about pitches and what is the function of pitches. Well, let's do it two different ways. First of all, let's look at a conventional, and I don't mean conventional, conventional fingertip, but a person that's using two fingers and a thumb. Each one of these fingers represents a force that's imparted to the bowling ball. We call them vectors in science. Okay, so what do pitches do? Well, lateral pitches are basically used to fit the contour of the hand, the shape of the hand. Okay, forward and reverse pitches are used to increase or decrease the strength of each one of the holes. Okay, if this is a right-hander, this is his middle finger, this is his ring finger, and this is his thumb. Okay, if you increase the strength of the thumb by pitching it forward, okay, then the ball stays on your hand longer and you lose some revs because the revs come from the force imparted by the fingers. If you increase the reverse in the thumb, the thumb comes out earlier and you decrease the effectiveness of the thumb, therefore you're increasing the effectiveness of the fingers. So we can go this way or this way. Now the one thing you need to know and a lot of people don't pay attention to is that higher track players are ring finger dominant. Lower track players are middle finger dominant. You learn that after doing it for a lot of years. So, if I go this way with the middle finger, okay, I'm gonna make the ball react like it was thrown by a lower track player, which means I'm gonna increase their axis tilt and rotation. If I pitch the ring finger forward, I'm gonna raise their track or decrease their axis tilt and their axis rotation. So, that will do that, that opposite is true. If I take the middle finger away and pitch it more away, then I'm gonna decrease the effectiveness of the middle finger, therefore making the person more ring finger dominant. Opposite, if I do that and decrease the effectiveness of the ring finger, I'm making the person more middle finger dominant. We actually call this performance fitting. There's a whole science to it. We teach it in the innovative Brunswick Morich DBA class November in Jacobus, Pennsylvania. So it's called performance fitting. Okay. Now, to get it clear, because some people are confused, forward pitch means towards the center of the grip. So forward with the thumb is this direction, forward with the middle and ring finger is this direction. Forward, forward, forward. On the other hand, reverse means you're opening the hand. So reverse when it refers to the thumb is there, reverse in the fingers are there, reverse the fingers are there. So you can dial in the effectiveness of all three of those digits to end up with a ball with the right amount of axis rotation and tilt. It is a very detailed art. It's something I pride myself on being able to do and I wrote basically the manual on it. So you can dial in what you need to do. Now when you change the pitch in the finger or the thumb, you have to make span adjustments very small span adjustments, because if you don't, you're gonna to create too much pressure on the joint. So, when you change the fit, pitch, there's a pitch span ratio. You can learn all that in our class that we teach in November in Jacobus, Pennsylvania with Innovative. Tom Carter, myself, Mark Moon, we go in there every year, and this year we taught 31 people. So, you can dial in your hand to make you more effective in your overall bowling. So, just making you aware of what you can do. It's a little complex, but boy, does it have positive results.
Thanks for listening to Mo Monday.